Welcome back to episode 7 of Auto Notes. Now I've been fiddling again once more with the programming of the bots, making them more efficient off camera. Like here at the pumpkin farm, things are going a lot better since I added an extra hole digger, which was a bit of a bit of a bottleneck all round. And also some of the um, robots where I like, had it programmed so they were like picking things up four times and putting them away. I made it so it's now repeat until hands full, which is a lot more sensible all round. Um, oh yeah, yeah. I've split the the gub stirrer into basically bits and. And seed stirrers. It made a lot more sense. Why not? And everything's looking a little nice. Now we've got 69 bots. And so, yeah, there's a lot of stuff I really want to do. Just for quality of life at the moment. Um, because we now have the ability... Oh, hang on. There's one thing we need to do. Um, we've got a good workbench, but we no longer have a crude workbench. I don't think. Or none that we just can like build things on. Because they're all in use. I say in use. Nobody's doing anything. But shush. Um, let's put that... Well, we're going to have to put it there. Hmm... There, I guess. I mean, why not? For this, we need two logs and two sticks. Whatever. So there's actually quite a lot of stuff that we've been researching and... Oh, I've got a spade in my hand. Um, that we've been researching that we could actually now build and stuff that I've just ignored. And there's also been a few, few like, um, um, patches which have changed things around a little bit. Like, now, um, I will be able to finally copy and paste bot commands. Uh, because they've moved that around um, to make it slightly earlier in the game. We need two sticks as well. We're actually running quite low on sticks. Weirdly, I think we're not getting, we're not making sticks quick enough. But if we go back to the um, the crude workbench, we have loads of stuff, including crude wheels, which I was looking at trying to have ages ago, so we can build a scooter. But now we can build a scooter because we have the ability to make wheels. Hooray! Basically, hang on, I've actually chosen the thing. Crude wheels. I think we might need two crude wheels. Uh, hmm, grab. Put that there. Oh, no. <laughs> Just, yeah, whatever. Uh, oh, yeah, the scooter requires one, three, two in the bottom right, so that's two crude wheels. So we do need to make another wheel. So another two planks. This will make us go faster, essentially. Boop, boop. Let's get a bit closer. And also, I think this is the, the only time I've ever done this in the series, I can actually rotate the camera. <laughs> I've only just remembered how to do this. Anyway. I'll just leave it exactly how it was. Never mind. I hope I didn't just blow your mind there. Anyway. Uh, one and three. So we need one plank. And three poles. I think I've, I've half designed all my stuff just in general for that camera angle. So I'm not going to be changing that now too much. It would be good to find bots hidden behind things. That's about it. And we need the two crude wheels. So I will be able to move a bit faster with this. Let's I'm just I'll just demonstrate. That's me without the scooter. And then with the scooter, I have to put it into my upgrade slot. It well I, if I don't run through the bushes, I go quite fast. And there's also something else I want to make. Um to just quality of life again. And that's my own backpack upgrade. So this is going to be irritatingly five planks. But I can always okay. I can always um, stow things, but yeah, whatever. This will help us um, do a double stow situation, which will be handy. Um, it's a bit... it's not noticeably faster with the scooter, simply because I'm running through a lot of nonsense at the moment. But when you go long distances, it's a bit more obvious. There we go. Extra... Ooh. Meanwhile, <laughs> we have the good bot locomotion upgrade. We don't need to worry about that yet, because we can't actually make most of this stuff. It is worth pointing out... Oh, well, let's just um, get rid of that. It is worth pointing out that things are suddenly going a lot more researchy over here. Um, because they are now stowing... They are now producing uh, times ten love. Over here, these guys who are being fed berries, at bottom right, only are giving one stage one love, because they are at stage one. Over down here, most of them are still like um, desperately hungry, but uh, <laughs> in fact, they all are. Um, the what? He's he's collecting. And when when they actually fed like um, weedy pumpkin stuff, the stuff that we're making with Chefbot eventually, when they're fed that, that's kind of an equivalent of level two food. So instead of giving double love, they actually give t the times ten love, and the, the times ten love is actually a separate thing. Like if you look at this storage over here, that's now a times ten storage. And each one of those is worth ten. 
Do I actually need to do anything here? Oh, yes, I actually need to set, set some research going, don't I? Um, let's, I guess, move structural parts. Uh, uh. This seems very basic. All of this. Structural parts, or... Yeah, I'll go for that. Whatever. Oh, we can't because of sand. I haven't actually worked out how to make sand yet. So I need a pole. Boop. There we go. Now a wolf should happen. Well, he's still waiting to actually pick up love. Oh, yeah, we've finally been fed, by the looks of it. Um, with the, the weedy stuff. Because I've set it up, so... Well, it's a bit slow. I mean, there's Chef Bot. Stirring his stuff. And that guy there is going to feed them, but only once he's got four in his hands. Or, how, basically until his hands are full, I think? Yes, I've changed his programming a bit, so it's, it's, it's until a hands full situation. But it takes so long to actually make this, that I am kind of like mindful that we should probably have a... Hang on. First of all, let's move that to... Oh, I can't, it's in use. Actually, let's just copy this for now. Um, I'll also move this, but I think I might have to diddle with his programming. Because I think I slightly cocked it up. Um, so let's just um, let's try and get... Uh, where is he? Chef lad. Chef Kiss, there he is. I think I've got a slight error in the programming in the fact that I've actually got some coordinates in there instead of go to mixing pot. So let's just go to mixing pot. Uh, make sure that we've got heavy pumpkin. No, it's not actually doing anything here because um, his memory is full, so let's just quickly do that again. Move to move. There it is. So, get the stuff until hands fall. Move to move. Anything part? Get rid of it. Uh, that should be it. Although, although, I need to take the stuff from his hands just so because he's resetting from the start of the program. Right. That means if I do move the um, the mixing pot again, it won't cock up his programming. Mix, 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 mix. So he's way too slow. So I'm going to make his second one. Six planks and one pole. Hmm. We could get our uh, blueprint lads sorted here, but... What was it, chicken? Uh, mm. One, two, three, four. You will notice now that I just stored some pumpkin in my second inventory slot. I don't know if I've actually got that in my hands, admittedly. <laughs> well, in this case, my backpack, but... At least we demonstrate the, the use of the backpack. See, now I'm also faster. It means this building work does go a little faster. I, I will reactivate my blueprint builders when we need to. I'm good, what I'm going to do is make some paving happen. Because I want to... We can now build... Stuff. Hang on. <laughs> Wrong button entirely. Right, yes, we can now build... Um, crude stone tracks for five stone. And that might make things faster as the bots move, move around the place. Not quite sure if we're going to get them to stick to roads, though. I'm, I'm guessing that they, they pick the fastest route, so they might actually pick a path if it's useful. Anyway, so we've got a mixing pot now, and we need a, a new bot. Um, but what I'm going to do first, go to my crude, crude workbench, and pick the crude data storage, uh, which now um, you can make on the crude workbench, um, which needs two plank, two pole, two seed. Grab, grab. Bomb, bomb. Get the poles. And go over here. And two planks. So this is going to make our life a lot easier for programming the new bot. Grab. And now we need to go over to Chef Bot. I think I need to be close to him and control click on him. Well, I think I need to stop him first. Stop. Oh, I should have paused him. Never mind. Right. I'm, I'm holding the floppy, floppy disk in my hand. Control. Click. That copies it to the floppy disk. So now the floppy disk has Chef Kiss programming on it. Um, again, I've interrupted Chef Bot right in the middle of doing stuff. Um, I'm just going to have to put that down for a second and see what stage he's actually up to. Oh, he's not doing anything at the moment. I think he's actually... That's okay. He can start... He can start afresh. Ah, oh, I see what happened. Okay. Let's just put that into there. Right, so I interrupted him right at the end. So now he's... Yes, all good. Right, pick up the floppy disk. Go over to one of my many... Um... Spare bots. Let's pick... 
What? You. Okay. Chef kiss. Do. Right. Now. Hang on, which one is he? Oh, 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 oh. Aha! Right, so he's at the front. So right click and. No, was it? Control right click. Did I say that last time? Control left click to copy onto the floppy disk and control right click to paste it. There's no. There's, at the moment, there's no tooltip or anything for that. You have to work it out for yourself or look at Steam um, community guides or whatever. But I'm sure they'll add that into the game to make it more obvious at some point. Right, anyway, never mind about that. You can bung the floppy disk on the floor. Chef Kiss 2 now has all the instructions of uh, Chef Kiss 1. But we will need, I guess, we may need to programming for programming for this mixing pot instead. Right, um, sometime later, uh, I had to reprogram it quite a lot. It took a while, so that's not the best use. But what, we, what I think we should do is, I've discovered that we are not really creating enough raw pumpkin. And because, well, it, we make it and then immediately cook it up. So we, at the moment, we've, um, we're have we going to have chefs twiddling their fingers, or whatever the robots do with their fingers. So we'll probably, probably, probably need another guy to do the hammering, I guess. So in this case, we're going to need... Well, first of all, we need... Oh, I've, got a, I've already got a mallet, but I might need to get another one. There's, conveniently, there's... Hang on, let's, let's just juggle things around a little bit. Let's go and get another mallet. And then we can give it to the new robot, who is going to be... Let's see, you. You'll do the trick. So, is it pumpkin... Hammer, or whatever the hell it is. Two. And now we should be able to. We're just going to give him the mallet. We should now be able to go and copy... So that. Pick that up. We should need, now need to go and copy the other pumpkin guy. Oh, it's Pumpkin Basher. Right, so this is a very simple one, but we may as well just do the copying thing again. Right, where's, where is he? There he is. Right, so let's go over to him. I've, I've control clicked him. So copy that under the floppy. Now we need to control click you. And you should now. Pumpkin bash your. Look, pumpkin hammer too. Should now. be fine. You've already got the hammer, so you're alright. In fact, I didn't even need to give him a hammer, because he would have skipped straight on to find nearest wooden mallet. And because he's got exactly the same job with exactly the same locations or whatever, that's a good copy and paste. The other one, the chef one, was a bad one. Frankly. So I'd, we'll probably get through the pumpkins a lot faster now. Um, we're, so they'll be under the bottleneck with growing pumpkins and so on, really. But this will hopefully speed things up a little bit. Especially now we've got more pumpkins growing because of the whole additional uh, hole digger sort of situation. A weed harvester over there is him. Needs a oh, winderoo three is on the on the move. What I could do is also um, the whole winding thing. There's a, there's, a, there's actually a bit of a dead zone around here that wind winderoo five sometimes gets lost in. Um, but I may attend. what I might do is increase. Where is it? Go over to the the basic block workbench. Put the floppy disk on the floor. I might increase the uh, sensor range on a couple of the winder bots. This requires a little bit of faffing. And uh, what does it need? It also needs Apple. I won't bother with the winderoos up here, because they're, whatever. They're in a good spot. And also they're very basic robots. So, let's go over to one of the winderoos over here. Winderoo 4. You look like a likely lad. Stop! Right, you're going to get... Did I even make the damn thing? Hang on. Slight problem. Oh, I must have dropped it, like I always do. Uh, where am I? Oh, there I am. Pick that up. And then go over to Winderoo 4. Put that into his upgrade slot. Now let's reprogram his area. This is his normal area. If we're now max area, it goes much bigger. Because we have the upgrade. So, if I move that to... Actually, maybe be a bit further down. And just check out the Winder, lads. So it looks like, yes, we have now covered... This is the dead zone in the cooking bit. Uh, we have now covered that, so... We, we probably need another winder bot, actually thinking about it. You know, not six. 
Not five. Ah, three. I need to extend three's search capacity again to the dead zone, just to make sure that all bots can possibly recharge each other. So I'll quickly whip up another one. Well, I've got two more things I want to do now. Um, we need a, we've, got, we've actually made a... Uh, in, the, in the midst of all this research... Oh, hang on. Speaking of which, we actually have already got a thousand of the 1500. So we're doing well with this research now. We've got the wolf times ten. Hopefully now we've got two chef bots on the go. We may hopefully get them fed a bit faster. I think things are working. Looks like um, Chef Kiss 2 is on the move. Getting the weeds. But the other sh Chef Kiss 1 is just waiting at the moment for Royal Pumpkin. Was, we've sped that up a little bit, but it's still, still a little slow. I wonder if I should extend the pumpkin farm. Yeah, anyway, whatever. We do need to build a wonder, is what I was going to get onto. Because I've completely... Oh yeah, we can make bot storage, but we can't make panel or square frame yet, so who cares. So we need a wonder. Oh, we need sand for this! Hmm. I'm not sure what this does. But there. So I, I thought... Or maybe maybe I, I did try this, I'm not quite sure, but I thought... Hey, let's put this plank down, I've still got a plank in my hand. Uh, oh, hang on, that's actually stowed the wrong thing. There we go. Oh, just... Hang on. I thought... Did, did it work with sand? I can't just dig sand up. Alright, yes. Um, you just need a bucket to get sand. Very straightforward. You thought a spade would make more sense, but nope. Anyway. Uh, so I presume we need to do this at the... Crude workbench. Oh, it's, hmm. No, it actually might be the better one. The good workbench. Yeah, there we go. Uh, requires another four planks. And there. Hmm. Oh, I've dropped everything. There we go. Bucket. Sand. Do, 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 do. What does it leave behind, if anything? Oh, a hole. Oh, and then it disappears. Okay, so it's, um, it's replenishable. Nice. Right, so let's build this wonder. We need, oh god, a few of these. That's not too bad, though. <sighs> I'm just gonna build over here. At least it's on the sand, but it's gotta be a long way away from the stones. I think I just cancelled it halfway through there. Yeah. Oh, that's it. I don't actually need any more. Uh, just drop the sand. Right, so I need five stone. What'll do? I'll drop this bloody mallet, I think. Right. Five stone. One, two, three, four. Stow, grab, and go. Four. Retrieve. Down. There we go. So now what? Stage two of three? Oh, what? Now we need ten. So I'm on stage three of the wonder. Which is surprisingly not too bad. It's only like a bit of stone and a bit of sand. So I've almost done this. Wasn't worth programming robots to do this. Here. <laughs> right, so feed it inanimate objects to disintegrate them. So it's basically a bin. There. <laughs> bin! It's really enjoying that as well. I actually don't want to throw sticks away, admittedly, because they're actually quite rare at the moment. It's empty. Uh, hang on. <laughs> reset. There's actually a reset button, but whatever. All right. So now we need to build um, some roads. Let's just let's do some testing of our roads. Not quite sure where I should put these because it's a, it's a case of where people go, and there aren't really many long paths. The only, arguably, the only one that really happens a lot is f this this storage thing here to this storage thing here. I think these storage things are a bit too close. I might actually move these at some point if we expand down here. I'll just move these kind of like down to here, and I won't need to reprogram anything, I don't think. So that should be all good. But let's make some paving. So, this is in here. Still don't want the bloody... Hmm. So we can make all the stone things easily out of stone. Just stone. The uh, the wooden stuff requires stuff that we can't do. Fixing pegs. So sod that. Crude stone track requires four stone. I kind of like want a nice long... Well, a nice place where we can... Hmm. 
Let's just do it from kind of. Well, it's going to go right through the colony. Uh. <laughs> I don't even want it going over the clay. Hmm. <laughs> Got a road. Hang on, we need to see what's going on here. Oh, there's a. There's actually a spade in the way. It should be okay, though. That shouldn't matter. Oh, it's just everything's laid out so badly. Hang on. Let's move this. Because, I mean, this is hardly ever used. It's a new colonist making thing, me Bob. There. <laughs> that clears things out. Also, let's get rid of some of these tools are just. Ugh. Oh, there's, a, there's a robot that literally, literally just stood there. What's it? Colonist bits feed X. I don't think it's. I think I, I think the X means I don't need, use it anymore. Right. Anyway, let's get back into this. Right into the cotton. Never mind. Well, that should maybe that should help. Maybe. Unfortunately, now this requires an absolute shit ton of stone. So what I think I'll do first is build a new crate um, over here. Huh. Now that's going to require planks and pole. We do have a robot to do this. It's a bit of a pain in the ass though, to actually move the area. Um, crate builder. Because you have to do it twice. Stop. So nearest blueprint. Let's move the area to here. We also need to do it on that one as well. If we forget to do that, the whole thing crumbles. Right, go! So I'm not doing that because I can't be bothered. But it's only going to improve the stone situation a little bit. We will need quite a bit of this. So we need to go and get a... You know what? I'm actually set my robot builders to go again. Because we will need more bots soon. We've only got two in reserve now. So we're going to make a paver. A paver bot. Let's make... 1042 can be the paver bot. Astrinia paver. We've just added pavers to Astrinia, confusingly. Um, anyway, yep. Yeah. So that's going to take a bit of time to build the thing. Oh, some, something went ding. Hello. We've got the structural parts. We've got panel square. F Ooh, ah. Ooh. Interesting. Now that means. Oh, hello. <laughs> we've level. We've just unlocked level three. Ooh. Composting and fertilizer, so we can make poo. We can make string. Better tree growth. Ooh. That requires a lot of research. Look at the research levels, though. Another stage of 10. So we'd have to start treating our colonists uh, better. Level 3 better. Mechanical frame saw. Poultry farms. Oh, bees. We've reached bees. 20,000. Bloody hell. And so on. Right. Oh, God, there's shitloads of more. There's proper cooking technology. Finally. Shelter technology. Oh, okay, so let's have a look at stage two for, like, housing. Can we make... Oh, we haven't even got through any of this research. Oh, shelter. No, there we go. Log cabin. We can make log cabin for our lads. That would be good. Anyway, whatevs. Let's just put that aside for a sec and ch change the... Oh, hello. I've got a bottom of my hands. <laughs> go and change the research. Um... Machine part. We don't want to go too far ahead. There's a log cabin. Um, I mean, let's, we could, I mean, I suspect we'll actually need wooden flooring first and fencing, so... Uh, alas, we'll have to go for that, I think. So we do need a plank for this. Oh, there's, there's one literally just there. Right, so they can get busy with the research there. Now let's go and program our paver bot. The crate has now been built. Just give it the flashing symbol, it's annoying. A structural workbench requires a fixing peg, so balls to that, really. Oh, God, look at these flashing things. It's annoying. See, what are those, then? Oh, the chopping blocks. Oh, we can make st new stuff on the chopping block. Ooh. Well, fine. I'm just, I'm not going to even... Maybe I, maybe I will. Hang on. Let's get rid of that. Yep, there we go. That stops it flashing. Right, anyway, let's teach our paver to do some stuffs. It's, it's going to take a while. Probably. Right, first of all, we need... We need... Ah, we need five. So, the... the what, here's what we'll do. Hang on. Ignore that. Let's go over to... I think it's the bot workbench. This is the spare one. Hang on a second. None of the, um... 
No, the, 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 the bot builders are actually building bots. That's not good. Um, hmm. Well, let's just do this. We need to, we'll, make, we'll need to make a crude gear first. This will, this will be a whole thing. Hang on. Uh, where can we bait this? Crude gear. Crude gear. One of those, which requires a plank. Then we can get one. Hang on. Do, do, do. No, we don't. Hang on. Let's go to there. Crew gear two, pole one. Right, okay, that's fine. Grab a crew gear from there. That one there. Put those on. And we just need a pole. Right. After... What's going on with these lads? We shall soon see. So, okay, so I'm going to upgrade his carrying capacity. Where is he? Where's... Where is he? Where's the paver? Oh, there he is. Right. Move over to there. Give him the upgrade. Five hands. There we go. I tried actually um, experimenting with increasing capacity before by, instead of like increasing their hands, but increasing their storage. So they stowed things. But when it came to actually adding this, the unstowed item back to the blueprint, it seemed to get a bit pissy about that. So I think this plays better. Right. So you've got capacity now. So now we can finally teach you how to do things. So go over here. Pick one up. I'm going to I'm gonna have to do something clever here. Um, I need to get five. But we don't need all that. Repeat until hands full. So that should do it until he's got five things in his hand. Then we need to go and find a blueprint to add it to. Now we could do with a sensor upgrade here. It doesn't quite reach, but it doesn't really matter too much because we can fiddle with that later. So find, move, and add. We're going to need to. I think it's. Oh no 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 no! Let's move this out of there. So that needs to go to there. Here, empty. And that should be it. Get stuff. Move to blueprint. Add to blueprint. That should be it. Let's go. Now, unfortunately, we I better quickly just do that. Just so we don't end up with a weird situation with them, him carrying extra stone or whatever. Here we go. There. A road. Or the startings of a road. So I might, I might try and also increase his sensor range. Whilst he's now actually set up to do things. You Put the stone down there. And we need, again, four planks and one pole. So this road will be done before we know it. So the ultimate multitasking game, this. <laughs> anyway. Right. Do, do, do. Grab that, move over to here, and I'll wait for him over here. Well, I really I should have just done this. Yeah, not that. <laughs> never mind. Right, anyway. Paver. Wait for him to finish his next task. Do that? Yeah. Anyway. So now we need to put in. I've just dropped down the ground again. Now we need to put in his sensor range upgrade. That's using both his upgrade slots, blimey. Right. Now we just have to... Max area again. And that covers absolutely everything. Perfect. Now we can go. Build the entire road single-handed. Or I could give him a pal. Uh, however, we're going through the stone very quickly, so I'm not going to bother doing that. We're actually going to use up the stone quicker than we can mine it. Meanwhile, over at the mine area over here, we're finally putting these miners to use. Where's actually the miner bot gone? Okay, so it seemed to be still on an old, weird bit of programming. Uh, which did work, but now it's stopped working, so move to quick. That should work. Finally. So yeah, at some point that had stopped working, so we are down to zero stones now. But now he's actually up and running again. I really should have upgraded these with better robots, but I don't really see the point. These are fine. 
I mean, I don't think a better bot would actually mine any faster. But look, we have actually paved not say about a third of our road, and it is slowly but surely ticking away. Research-wise, we've got 392 out of 2,000. We could definitely improve things by feeding these lads better, because we're only producing three things, as, three or four things at a time. It's going very slowly indeed. That shack is actually falling to bits. Thankfully, we, we solved this problem a while ago. Automatically sort that out. And now we've got four on the go. But yeah, the whole sort of food thing has slowed quite a bit down because we are getting very slow with pumpkin growth. I just think we need a bigger farm and more bots. Or maybe even start a new kind of farm. Um, actually, where are we generally with stuff? What we need to do, actually, go to um, here. We just need now two more bits of research and we'll have actually finished this science bit, which would be handy. And then I think after that we'll be able to unlock a few more things. Oh, arable farm! We actually unlocked... Hmm. Soil, cereal, crop, cereal. Maybe maybe that will produce more food for us somewhere down the line. That might be the next thing we do then. So since this is actually going to take forever, so I'm going to have to leave this. I think we'll do it between episodes. Um, but just to, just to demonstrate the speed difference on going on a road. I mean, I'm quite fast on the scooter, but on the road, it's like I zoom along even faster. Oh, <laughs> went somewhere weird there. So yeah, this is all ticking along. Next thing, I say the cereal farm is possibly the next thing. It's getting so messy, I still kind of like want to do a full, full-scale relocating of things. I mean, they'll break some of the programming, a bit, But hopefully, well, a, a lot of the areas will have to change. But it would be nice, because we are getting so cluttered. The whole issue about getting stuck between all this water is starting to really bite now. But look, I mean, look at all this area down here. Look at all these lads, all these chicks, and the cow as well. Oh, we could really get some agriculture going on soon. And whatever, whatever you call it. Anyway, whatever. We'll pick this up again in the next episode. Uh, thanks for watching. As per usual, uh, subscribe, click on the link to the Patreon, all the usual things. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.